All right. Just doing some test streaming. I uh, want to see how everything works. My name is Lee Holden, uh, for what it's worth. I am brand new to this. Uh, not this game. This is Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, um, which I played before, and I really like. Uh, or at least I liked when I was younger. Um, I admittedly, I'm finding it a little bit tedious, but, you know. So I started playing Morrowind, actually, kind of on a lark, um, not so long ago, last week, maybe two weeks ago. And I was really enjoying it, and I modded it and everything, and, you know, just to kind of clean it up. Uh, I didn't do any of the, like, gameplay affecting mods, like, I, I, I wanted to avoid the, um, what do you call it, like, the auto-hit mods. Um, that was something I wasn't excited about, because um, part of that was just, uh, I'd seen a review recently, and a guy was basically like, yeah, uh, you know, auto-hit mods really take away from the whole point of, like, the skill progression. What is this? There's no one here. Seems bulky. Um, unfortunately, there's no Nern root down here. I have a quest to gather Nern root, which is funny coming to this from Skyrim, where it's, like, kind of everywhere. And they're like, wow, Nern root is this incredibly rare, um, impossible to find, um, stuff, and <laughs> it's not quite that uh, in Skyrim. I'm going to go to chat only on my phone, because I do want to be able to, if <laughs> on the off chance that someone watches this, uh, God help you. I know it is streaming publicly, but I, I can't imagine anyone's going to be watching this. Um... You know, I want to be able to respond on the chat. That sort of thing. I got my McDonald's breakfast. A little sugar to start my day. Healthy, balanced breakfast. Right now I'm just kind of wandering around, just talking. Um, I think I'm going to do the Mayrun's Dagon quest, the, um, one of the main quests. Because uh, there's nothing really else that's like particularly exciting to do right now. Um, Um, but yeah, like I said, I was playing Morrowind, and one of the things that... Well, what happened was I was modding it, and then broke it, and I could not for the life of me figure out what I had done. Um, I knew what I had done, in the sense of, I knew what was wrong, because I was it was trying to use a file that wasn't there, uh, one of the mods. But, I, I literally tried to cut through every single mod and I c it would not load anymore. But honestly, like, you know, besides the sort of novelty of playing Morrowind in 2022, there wasn't much there for me, I guess, uh, for lack of a better word. I just, um, I did find it really tedious. Like, um, I hate to be, like, kind of a spoiled 2022 video gamer, but, like, well, that's kind of cool. I haven't noticed that before, the... The crescents, the sun, the way the sun's hitting the moons. That's cool. That's really nice. It's a nice touch. Um, but yeah, I um, I was finding it, finding it really tedious. Um, it just wasn't... It's very slow. You know, it's, it's a very slow game. 
Part of me, I looked up on um, that website, how long to beat. Dot com, uh, just to see like, okay, what's the like, average amount of time people are putting into this game? And it was like, I think it was like 44 hours to beat the main quest, and then it like ballooned into the hundreds for main plus extra, um, which makes sense. But you know, my my thought, my immediate thought was, I wonder how much of that is just you walking from point A to point B, um, which can be fun, um, and I think. I think in games like, uh, I found The Witcher 3, especially. That's the only open world one. The Witcher 3, I thought, is probably the best game I've ever played in terms of how much fun it is to get from point A to point B. Um, fun might not be the right word. I think the word might be, um, just beautiful. Like, it, it was consistently such a pleasant journey, if that makes sense. Um... So that was pretty fun. Uh, but Morrowind, yeah, it, it, you know, it, it just got to the point where I was like, eh, I'm, I'm fine. I think I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm okay not continuing this game because I, I played it a long time ago, and I do think it's still probably the most unique of the um, Elder Scrolls games. Uh, you know, which is pretty obvious. Like, it's widely considered to be the most unique of the Elder Scrolls games. Um, just on, in terms of lore and setting, like, it's so, it's really interesting, right, because it's so alien, uh, to what we have. It's, pfft, Oblivion is so, like, it's so kind of classical high, like, European, Western European high fantasy, um, even to the point where, like, I'll be honest, um, see anything. i put on a torch. I bought torches just for this. Um, like, it has that sort of, like, uh, I don't want to call it lazy fantasy, because there's nothing lazy about this, obviously, but, like, um, almost nonsensical, like, fantasy naming schemes, like, okay, None of the like, Chaden Hall, Bruma, Coral, Imperial City, Skingrad, Kavach. I'm like, why are these kind of, why are these two kind of Eastern European inspired? Then there's just a town called Anvil. <laughs> then down here you have Bravil and Leowin, which I'm like, I'm not like, I'm not saying this to just like roast the game or roast like the people who came up with this. Because um, I'm sure all of this, like, not maybe not all of it, but I'm sure a lot of this was like relatively yeah, all already there by the time this game was being made. So they just were working with what they had. But okay, like one of the things I really liked about Skyrim, for example, is that, um, and this is not this is not like 100% true, is that Skyrim is um, there's a consistency to sort of like the culture that I like. You know, and part of that is that, like, okay, Cyrodiil is intentionally metropolitan, but that doesn't mean the naming schemes for the towns should be. Um, whereas, like, in Skyrim, yeah, it's, like, all, everything's, everything is, has a, a, a consistent, oh, there's a, the wolf I killed. That's really sad. Um, everything is kind of, like, consistently... Uh, there's just a consistent direction, I guess, to it that I like. Um, not to say like Skyrim is like the best game ever. I, I like it a lot. And it's 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 a game I've invested like as most people who have played it have way too many hours into. Um, hello. I don't even pick up the arrows anymore, if that's not clear. Uh, um, excuse me? Who hit me? I genuinely don't know who hit me. Um, what the fuck? Oh. That was fun. I, 
I will say, one of the things I like about this game is that... So, and I can imagine people not liking this, but it's kind of floaty. And for some reason, I actually really enjoy that. Um, like I... The sound bugged here. That's funny. Um... By the way, again, this is a test stream. I am just kind of seeing how things look. I'm recording all this. Um, basically to go back and see, like, okay, did this sound decent? It's worth some money. Um, you know, like, did, did this sound okay? Like, is this... Uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I guess I can pick up arrows now. For a while there, I was really struggling with my carrying capacity. Um, I was finding it very frustrating because I was, it was like, I, I was basically just, I had just enough capacity to carry my armor and like my weapons and it felt like, oh, I am, I am just on the edge of, um, not being able to carry any, anything else, right? So, so like, I, I had to become, I started becoming like really, really selective with what I, um, picked up to the point where like I literally I had a hundred iron arrows I think I had a hundred something something iron arrows and I just threw them away because I was like okay I, I have an I have some um, steel arrows I believe yeah and you see I, I picked up a few like magic enchanted arrows and stuff like that um, yeah one of the problems was I had this uh, for the longest time I've been using a one-hander Basically, since I started the game, I, I, I kind of fumbled about with a uh, iron claymore, um, which is fine. Um, in Skyrim, actually, I, I've always uh, probably one of my favorite playthroughs I've ever done in Skyrim was a, a red guard, two handed warrior type character, like a basically just going swinging. Because um, I, I find the like one hand and blocking mechanics less, I don't know, less satisfying in that game. Uh, whereas this one, I have found that having a shield is pretty nice. Uh, it just feels good. Um, but I keep I keep this <laughs> this eighteen pound sword on me because uh, it can it can kill. There there are certain monsters which I guess they got rid of in Skyrim because I don't remember that ever being a problem in Skyrim. But um, the fact that you can't attack certain ephemeral beings and certain, like, magical beings with regular weapons. And it's not like The Witcher where, like, okay, you can still attack them with your, like, steel sword. Um, rather, it, it's like, it just doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, no, in this, it straight up, like, you can't do damage. Uh, you cannot do damage to certain monsters if you're not using a magical weapon, or an enchanted weapon, I should say. Um, which is fine once you learn that rule, but, like, if you don't know that rule, it's like, oh shit, <laughs> you know? Because um, suddenly you're fighting a monster that you literally cannot kill uh, without... Luckily, I mean, I, luckily you start the game with magic, uh, so, you know, if you're not... As a kid, I imagine, I, I don't remember having this experience, but as a kid, I imagine I just, like, had no recourse, because I'm like, oh, my sword doesn't work, what's going on? Uh, whereas now, I think I could have, you know, pretty readily, like, uh, now I, I, I immediately had the recourse of, like, oh, like, I have a flame spell, let me just try to, like, not die while I shoot this thing. Uh, plus, for a while there, I was holding, um, I think early on in the game, you get a, uh, this, like, goblin rod or goblin staff or something from this, like, goblin shaman. And so I was using that for a good while uh, as my, like, magic weapon of choice anytime it came up. Uh, but it wasn't very strong, and so I, I, I got this very nice sword for a quest, and I like it a lot. Uh, but I only, I only whip it out for fights that need it. Uh, because the Akaviri Katana, like handles business very well, which I appreciate. Um, I'm playing a modded version of Oblivion. Uh, just FYI, my my zero viewers right now. Um, I believe I am the only viewer of my own video right now, uh, which is fine. That's not, that's not the point currently. 
Uh, the point is just to like see if I can do the stream. Uh, anyway, just get some practice. I, I, I'm, I'm interested in this. I, I, I figured... I guess my whole idea was like, okay, you play a lot of video games anyway. Uh, why not do something with that a little bit? Um, I know the idea, I, I, from any streams I've watched, people always read this stuff, so. I've arrived at Lake Arius Caverns. The secret mythic dawn shrine must be somewhere inside. Wee. And only, I think that only comes up when you are, when it's your active quest. I'm not 100% certain on that. I don't know why I keep picking up all the mushrooms and shit. They're, it's probably useless. Hold on. Oh, he can't see me. He can see me. He's not, he's not really doing anything about it. Huh. Okay. Dawn is breaking. Welcome, brother. The hour is late, but the master still has need for willing hands. You may pass into the shrine. Harrow will take you to the master for your initiation into the service of Lord Dagon. Do not tarry. The time of preparation is almost over. The time of cleansing is near. Great. Um, so, the counterintuitive thing of games here is, um, that, look at me, I'm literally in entirely, uh, all blades gear right now. So, <laughs> I'm not saying this is like, boo game, uh, how dare it not recognize what I'm wearing and make that a problem for the, yeah, this is like the X that I imagine. Um, you know, like, how are they not gonna recognize me? That's game. That's that breaks my immersion, which it does. But it's also like, it's an, it's an older game. I'm not I'm not pissed. Um, the the thing that spoiled me, I think, to that, and and I could be wrong here. I could be, I could be misremembering a mechanic. Um, was Fallout New Vegas when they introduced the, um, they introduced costumes like, uh, faction costumes, to where, like, you could wear someone's costume, and if I remember correctly, they, at least on first sight, wouldn't recognize that you weren't a member of their faction. Like, maybe if you, like, got close or talked to them, they might be like, hey, you're not one of us, but otherwise, like, you could just, like, wear people's outfits, and you would literally be disguised as them. And so in my head, I, I for a while there, I was actually keeping in my inventory, was keeping some Mythic Dawn clothes that I had gotten at the very beginning of the game. Because I was like, oh yeah, this will come in handy. But then I just like, I quickly, when I was struggling with weight, I was like, hmm, let me Google this really fast. And I, I, I Googled whether it matters what you, like if it matters whether you have Mythic Dawn clothes. And someone was just like, no, it makes no difference. Like they, there is no, other than just like for pure roleplay purposes, there is no point in the game where you will actually need Mythic Dawn, like, clothing. Um, Arrow will wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, got it, got you, got you. Uh, so, that is that. I am Harrow, Warden of the Shrine of Dagon. By following the path of Dawn, hidden in the writings of the Master, Mankar Cameron, you have earned a place among the Chosen. Thanks. You have arrived at an opportune time. You may have the honor to be initiated into the Order by the Master himself. As a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn, everything you need will be provided for you from the Master's bounty. Give me your possessions, and put on this Initiate's robe. Ooh, not a huge fan of that. Ah, <sighs> should I go with it? Like, probably. Also, you may notice, once again, uh, this is a modded Oblivion, because... <laughs> They don't look but fucking ugly. Um, uh, which, you know, again, there is some, like... There is added immersion in the sense of, like, okay, these characters aren't really gross to look at. However, I have noticed that um, because all the faces look young, like, they're really smooth, 
uh, but then they'll just like add the weird wrinkle to it for old characters. But the bodies are all young. It's like you every so often you'll get this like jarring um, thing where bodies are they have these super smooth like built young bodies and then this like wrinkly old but it's also kind of smooth and young face um and it's a little jarring but it's it's very much one of those like it's one of those things that if you get a mod like this you're almost always gonna have a problem with i guess i'll give you all my possessions makes me uncomfortable but very good okay oops i shouldn't skip i forgot Wee woo wee. Um, is it here? Is it? No. Is it here? Yeah. Jesus. Dawn is breaking. I do love gameplay though. Dawn this is, like, is breaking. Thank you. Uh, where? <laughs> yeah, I love when AI is just like then freaking out like this. I feel like Skyrim never got this dark. Uh, probably on purpose. Shall be their reward in paradise. I'll sit, I'll sit here. See what the big boys Praise be. Praise be. Hear now the words of Lord Dagon. When I walk the earth again, the faithful among you shall receive your reward to be set above all other mortals forever. As for the rest. Dawn the is breaking. shall be winnowed. Yeah. The timid shall be cast down. The mighty shall tremble at my feet and pray for pardon. By the way, that's like a clock. Oh, look at me. How cute. I look like Martin. Uh, I did not edit the character other than making his eyes gray because I was like, I do that a lot in games for some reason. Um, yeah, I play, I play an Imperial. I typically, like, if I'm doing kind of like a, a clean, I, well, I don't know what you want to call it, like a vanilla run through a game, I will often just play, especially like Elder Scrolls, I will just play the race that I'm in. So like with Morrowind, I had a Dunmer. When I play Skyrim, I'll probably just like play a Nord. Um, but the thing I was going to say was, um, the thing I was going to say was that <laughs> Oblivion has this and you probably know this, but Oblivion has this, like, thing that's very obnoxious, and it, which is that people will just talk to you, uh, like, they'll just say things at you randomly. So you end up in the situation, like, where two game mechanics are colliding right now, where he, they're having a scripted speech, but you have this guy just note, he noted, his AI notices me and says his, like, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like his, his little ambient reaction. Because they're all looking at me. So saith Lord Dagon. Um, praise praise be. be. Interesting. Your reward, brothers and sisters. The time of cleansing draws nigh. I go now to paradise. I shall return with Lord Dagon at the coming of the dawn. Greet the new day. Is there something? The time of preparation is almost oh, over. Boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Sir? Mankar Cameron has escaped to his realm of paradise with the Amulet of Kings and closed his magical portal behind him. But the Mysterium Xarxes itself is here in the shrine. I must get the Mysterium Xarxes. It is my only hope of finding a new way to recover the amulet now. We have a new brother who wishes to hey, bind himself up? to the service That's of me. Lord Dagon. Advance, initiate. Should I go up there? Oops. You have come to dedicate yourself to Lord Dagon's service. This pact must be sealed with red drink. The blood of Lord Dagon's enemies. This has, um... Take up the dagger and offer Lord Dagon the sacrificial red drink as pledge of your own life's blood, which shall be his in the end. <laughs> no, I will not kill for you. 
this has um i don't know why but her voice sounds kind of canned uh if you ever play mods for these games you'll notice that like sometimes the professional like the the professional quality of the uh voice acting not necessarily the voice actor themselves but the like the quality of the recording itself is off and for some reason that sounded like a almost like a mod voice but it's probably just you know i'm like i'm good i don't know who is the sacrifice lord dagon thirsts for red drink sate him you gonna oh it's just like some person save and see what happens if I do this. Do do. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm just going to take that. He looks like we found a thief. <laughs> that's fine. I'm going to put this on and hope I don't die. Yep. Let's go. Um, take that, take that. Oh, so, I'm also, I'm playing this game on a pretty, uh... Whoa. Ow. I hate that. Paradise like awaits me. It's just like, it's very jarring. <laughs> Do not fear death. All right, cool. Well, they're all dead. Now, to find, uh, I would love to find my my clothes. Man, they just killed her. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, is Harrow here? Because he has my shit. Harrow. That would be real sick if you just like don't. Yeah, there's Harrow. Yeah, he's got all my stuff. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna pop up this. I'm just gonna take it all. I do wish, and, and this is a thing that I think, uh, I, 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 again, this is me not remembering very well. I feel like Skyrim did a little better where they, oh, I need to equip. Cool. Um, I feel like Skyrim did that a touch better. It was like making torches where you, they were like very quickly and easily accessible. Um, because, unfortunately, it is a little annoying, and again, it's just a minor annoyance, and I'm, I'm complaining for no good reason. Um, it is a touch annoying that you have to do that, like you have to go to the miscellaneous thing every time and go back and uh, scroll all the way down to get to the torch and click the torch, and etc, etc. That was fun. Just killed a bunch of them. Really crippled their operations, you know what I'm saying? You there. Stop hey, what's up? Where you are. By the way, if it wasn't clear, I am playing a, a, a I am play I've set the difficulty down for this game. I'm playing a relatively easy version of this because I kinda just wanted it to be breezy. Like I'm I wasn't particularly interested in like uh I'll take it. Solid. Cool. Works for me. Still your shit. Oh yeah. Don't care. See, I'm already up, I'm already up to very close. I need to go to a town and sell things. See, this is I actually this is me doing this about a map. Because I'm lazy. That's the only reason. But yeah, so 
I'm playing this, uh... Well, at least I gotta... Oh god, I'm actually terrible at this. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just auto-attempting. I'm actually really... I found that I was really bad at that minigame. Anonymous Retort. Don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Now I'm over agree. Excellent. Which, of course, unlike Skyrim, <laughs> when you're over encumbered, you just cannot move suddenly. What am I... That's worth a lot. So I'm gonna keep that. I'll get rid of this shit. Yeah, that's that creature's the space. Um, stop. Yeah, like I'll take books to sell them. It's all good. How am I oh, that's because they're really weighty for some reason. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna actually get rid of that. I don't need it. Is that wait? Does this count as stealing? I will say, that shit, when it's like, oh, it technically counts as stealing because you stole it from, but you stole it from like an evil faction. I always find that shit super funny in these games. Um, Cause I'm like, is, <laughs> does like the law distinguish? It, or, or, or is it just like, nah, you know, just cause you stole from, just because you stole from like a, an evil faction doesn't mean it wasn't stealing. Oh, that's my cat. Hey, buddy. He, um, so my cat, uh, Julius, he is very needy. Um, he's a very sweet boy. Yeah, you guys, you can hear him. Um, he's a very, very sweet boy, but he's very needy. He loves attention. Please don't jump up here. Stop where you are! Run away! They just keep running! Oh no. Oh, there's a whole other room? Oh boy. Okay. Alright. This is exactly what I was worried about. This, this is my cat. He's fine. He just, uh... He really doesn't like not being paid attention to. Um, oh, is like, the, the central retreat area. Sorry, guys. I feel bad because they're just like, ah! Um, but, you know, so, so be it. Oh, so I, like, went the wrong way, I guess. Do you have anything? Gold. No, oh, torch. Take it. Hold my torch. Take it. I'm collecting them torches. Just a very useful item <laughs> I found in a game that gets so fucking dark. Um, like, like shockingly dark. Uh, In a game that just gets like really dark, um, and the torch is just like, it's one of the most useful objects I've found in this game, to be honest. Like, it, it is so um, necessary to play the game. <laughs> but, buddy. And the, the thing is, um, he probably wants snacks. But he's not supposed to get snacks until midday. Um, wait. Okay, yeah, that's not... See, this is just wrong, if that's the case. Like, that... I've noticed that sometimes the, um... The way markers are actually just incorrect. <laughs> um, because there was no exit there. Or at least I did not, I mean, I just, I was, I was looking at the map. I did not see an exit whatsoever. Um, I oh, I said, where does it open? Oh, probably because it, 
or maybe it, maybe there was a thing in there. That... Um, at least this at least this area is pretty unique looking. Um, I have found that unfortunately, uh, and and I remember this being an issue when I played this at, when I was younger. And one of the reasons I liked Skyrim so much uh, at the time was simply it was one. I mean, one of the big reasons was just like, yeah, it the caves and dungeons and stuff in Oblivion feel very samey, um, like very very samey. I mean, even this one, it's like there's uniqueness to it. Like, don't get me wrong, because there's these shrines and there's some stuff like you know, there's banners hanging up and stuff. Like, that's cool. You see, like it had that red thing, and it's just like oh, um, the way marker. My guess is, I guess somewhere in this room, there is a a button or. No, no, that's where I just came from. Okay. It's like, is there a button somewhere? Here's the thing. With these games, I am not averse. Oh, I did not see this extra room. That's my fault. Yeah, come on. Oh, he's just running. Great. Sorry. Paradise awaits me. Run away! <laughs> Truly hate it. I do not fear death. <clears throat> yeah, I will often block, um, but I'm being very lazy right now. Which, again, one of the reasons I set the difficulty so low is because I, I, I wanted to be able to kind of lazily play this without... Ah, okay, so that's what it is. I was I was wrong. I was incorrect. So apologies for what I said earlier. I was just wrong. It this indeed Okay, what's up here? This indeed was the correct way out, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Um, because there's something here. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, um, I found that Oblivion is very much just like. Okay, I need to buy more of those. Yeah, yeah. It's also as soon as you hit it, it's you're over. I'm just gonna get rid of this shit. If I can say one under, I'm fine. Um. I don't really care, uh, to be honest with you, which route I should have taken. Because I'm back in the antique. No, I'm in the cavern. Oh, so that other one takes me back there. Well, okay. Whatever, I guess. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah, see, I would do this, but, uh, I don't, I'll just use all my block picks. Oh, I gotta, I'm sure there's like a thing. Ah, there it is. Um, yeah, I miss, I miss those all the time. Um, one of the reasons is again, I'm, I'm playing very lazily, so I will just, I, <laughs> and I found that honestly, this game doesn't require as much, um, visual awareness as you might think, especially if you're playing on an easier difficulty. I've escaped with the Mysterium Xarxes. Now to deliver it to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. Alright. It's nice help though. Put my torch away. Now I have more torches. See, that was a successful dungeon crawl because I came out with more torches than I started with. That's really all it's like. That's all that matters. Because uh, you don't have to sleep in this game except to level up, so there's no point in uh, not doing things at night. But the problem is, nighttime is very spooky. <laughs> nighttime is very spooky in this game. It's very dark.
Um, okay. You're gonna try to kill me. He attacked first. Oh, god. That's another, uh, that, this is an Elder Scrolls thing that I... <laughs> Again, this is my, like, lazy gamer, I despise things. Um, I'm, gonna... I'm sure... Oh, god, whatever. Where's the other enemy? Hey. Sorry. Um... I know that there's a... <laughs> I know that Wayne and Prairie has a thing that I can use to, um heal myself of diseases, so I will always go there, just to like... Um, I... Go ahead. Well, I normally stay, but go ahead and take this hammer. Oh. You might have use of it, and I have others. Not much call for smith work around here, in any case. Thanks, well, we both have better things to do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day to you now. Okay. Thanks, man. Um, I was gonna say, I love... I love... And by this I mean, I may not actually love. I, uh, it can be a little, uh, annoying. I, 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 I kind of enjoy that the bodies are just persistent. They just stay there forever. And I will say, uh, you can move them, but it's very hard. Like, it doesn't really do- you have to hold down C, and I don't- So, just to show you what I'm talking about. Um, Coral, by the way, is kind of my base, in the sense that I know where all the shops are. So I will just- anytime I need to do stuff, I will just run back to Coral and sell things. Um, I did the little Battlehorn Castle thing, uh, which is a, um, a DLC for Oblivion. Um, but to show you what I'm talking about, uh, there's just all these corpses out here. Look at them. And I tried, so these are not where they originally were. I tried moving them, but <laughs> they just, like, don't move easy. And I'm like, this, it's gonna be way more trouble than it's worth to actually, um, move these guys. Because you have to hold down Z while you're doing this. Um... Also, you can tell which ones are, uh, which ones were here before I got here and which ones weren't, because Marauder Archer Hello. died, like, I probably killed her. Uh, dead, Mar dead Marauder was dead when I got here. Um, let's see, Dead Marauder, or Kelvin, I think he was also dead when I got here, but he's, like, the owner of the castle. It'd be nice to have his armor. Oh, wait. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's fine, actually. Never mind. I'll leave him. It's better to kind of respect the dead in that sense. As if I have not stripped the bodies of every fucking enemy I've encountered, but, you know, whatever. There's a lake. Let's see if there's Nern root. I need some Nern root. Let's finish that quest. I need, like, two more Nern root. <sighs> yep, you hear it? Nern root. That's the trick. Yeah. But actually, really quick. All right. Got my Nern root. What time is it? Okay, we still got. They should be open. Actually, I'll be honest with you. I have not learned <laughs> just what time they close. I know nine is when everybody opens. Play. But she's open, and she likes me because I saved her daughter. What can I interest you in? Actually, I don't think I can sell her everything. Yeah, that's right. I do need to go to the other one. Um, okay, I was pretty sure this is an al alchemy thing. I don't know if it's useful, but I'll, I'll need to see. Um, sort of most valuable. If I recall correctly, this was taken out of Skyrim to start. And that's why the Sky UI was put in and, like, they changed all this. Because it was like, this is just useful. You know? I actually don't know what that means. I think that... What is that? I actually don't know what that means. Um, that's useful. Of course, I just... any It's like any time I need it. Rarely... I I don't think I've ever gotten a disease where I can't just fast travel to, to Wayne and Priory to fix. 
I sell my poisons because I just don't use them. Um, maybe next time I'll play like a, sp a, sp a sneaky... I don't know. Anytime I play sneaky characters, I also just play... You know, I play a sneaky character who is an archer, which is a, kind of a, a Skyrim like classic, but... I sell this because it's heavy. Yeah, when I first started the game, I actually found it very difficult. <laughs> Um, I was I was surprised because I did not remember it being that hard. And um, a fine transaction. You know what? I'm just never gonna use this. Okay. See, okay. So I looked these up. Don't sell them. I don't use these at all. I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever played it. I don't believe I've ever played an Elder Scrolls playthrough where I've actually used soul gems. Um, which tells you how little I've put into... That's <laughs> like, you can tell the exact style that I like. I prefer to play and how I just will not change. Come back at... Anytime, thank you. Take care. Of course. She haven't checked on my currency. My before. hero. Yeah. Picked up a good book at Renoir. Yeah. You too. I'm gonna go over and see if I have anything to sell to the uh, weapons and armor lady. Um, very nice. I think in the beginning of the game you can't jump over shit like this, but uh, I love. I, I will say, uh, like like I was talking about earlier with the like floatiness of Oblivion. Um, getting your acrobatics up is really fun because you can start clearing things like this with ease. <laughs> It's very fun to just be able to, like, jump across gaps like that yes. and, and over things. You see what I'm talking about? Um, where she's, like, young looking but has these, like, little, like, wrinkles that... But then you can kind of see the seam. It's worse when you actually, like, see their body. Like, there's some there's some characters that, like, they'll not be wearing a shirt or something. And you're like, oh, that's unpleasant. <laughs> Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? I have children, so I don't... No, that's, a, that's a lot of... That's good. It's nice. That's a fair deal. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm going to keep the dagger. I kind of like having a dagger. Then I have the weight to spare. Again, I might, I might just sell these at some point. For now. Thank you. I'm gonna use that repair hammer real quick. You too. Oh, <laughs> I literally used, the, used it all. Alright. What can I do for you? Let me take a look at what you've got. Oh, okay. yeah. It's relatively cheap, but it can get expensive. Take uh, care. I, I wiped out like 300 coins uh, in like doing that once uh, a while back because I hadn't done it in a long time and it was just like, boop, you have really shitty equipment right now. Mm -hmm. Skin grad. Dandy. Oh, I'm in Skidcraft. I, I genuinely can't tell sometimes. Yeah, he's in here. He's down here. Ah! Yo! Oh, that's right. I remember that because she's a uh, um. Yeah, I remember encountering her and being like, "Oh, she's for sure like a mythic dawn person." Am I not allowed to go in there right now? Oh, um, I guess I'll wait. I'll 
turn my. The problem is you use up your torch, so I need. I, you know, you don't want to use it. Uh, you know what? Our, our, it's an RPG. Um, Mies. What can I do for you? Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, it's like. It, it's a little jarring, especially with how young her face looks, but it's like all these like weird little wrinkles. Um. I yeah. Excellent. Go upstairs and look for the. Okay. Bye. What do you want? So again, this is another, like, just silly AI thing, like, I, I love Elder Scrolls games because things like that happen, right? It's just like, oh, well, like, if I had never encountered her, <clears throat> I would be like, what? Who is this? But I'd already talked to her, at least, so I kind of, I, I recognize the character, but I do think it's very funny, right, that you just have this, like, this thing happen where she's just, like, as soon as I come in, she's like, ah, kill him, but she didn't say anything, she just transformed and started fighting, and he starts fighting her, and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll kill you. Then I kill her. Sneeze. <coughs> Pardon. Um, there's a lot of just, like, stuff like that, where it's, like, goofy and silly. And honestly, I will say, <clears throat> yeah, I think this is her room, right, because she has commentaries. Um... Two in the morning. It's not for six hours. It doesn't do anything. But... I know in Skyrim they have the well rested effect. Yeah, no. Actually, I wonder. I, w I have to wonder. No, it doesn't seem to be. Yeah, there's no. Morning. There's uh, other than to level up. I believe there is zero point in resting, um, except for like certain things like. Um, when you join the, the uh, Dark Brotherhood, you have to sleep, and then they'll recruit you. Which is cool. I, so when I first played Oblivion, uh, when I was like, I must have been. Well, you know, I may have been in middle school. I was gonna say high school, but like honestly, it came out. I don't. Know I definitely didn't play it when it first came out because I was, I was a, a little young. Um. Just a little. Young. What is it? But like, oh cool. Um, sorry, I just checking my phone. Like, I was probably a little young when it first came out to like actually engage with it. I definitely didn't play Morrowind on the first try, or when it first came out. Um, Morrowind was actually the one I played. I didn't play Morrowind until oh. after playing Skyrim. Um, Baker's house. That's fun. Um, how cute. A sweet roll. But of course, Salmo is famous for his sweet rolls. One taste, and you are in heaven. On top of the world, yes? Concerning this, I smelled a strange odor coming from the Mages Guild yesterday. Oh. I could never leave Skingrad. All my good friends here would die without my sweet rolls. The rest of the world must suffer as best it can without me. That's funny. I sometimes Take wonder with these like unique little characters if there is a quest involved with them, but then you know sometimes there just isn't. Which I'm fine with. I like. What is it? I like I like little detail added to characters that don't actually matter to the quests or to, to you know to, there's there's no um they just add to the immersion as opposed to, like he's just this like. He's just this baker who really uh, thinks he's the best, and I like that. Um, yeah, so I, I played Oblivion the first time when I was a kid, and um, I had this moment. There's this quest, uh, I think it's in Coral, actually. I may be wrong. No, 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 wait. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, it's the Odils. I think that's right. Um, the Odils, like, their farm gets attacked by goblins. And so when I played that mission for the first time, I... Wait, can I? <laughs> you literally jump and then move forward. That's really funny. Um, I wonder what that looks like. 
How silly. Yeah, that's really funny. Um, but yeah, so his, his the farm is getting attacked by goblins, and I remember playing this as a kid, and I accidentally killed, I accidentally like hit one of the brothers, which has stuck in my memory so much that I literally, when I when I replayed that quest on this playthrough, um, I like really carefully tried to avoid hitting the brothers <laughs> because I remembered hitting one of them, and they became hostile to me. So as soon as we killed the goblins, I we just had to like I just had to kill them both because they were they were hostile. Um, and How do you do? I mean I, I really don't know if there's a way to avoid that. Well met. Like once they're hostile, I don't think there's a way to make them unhostile. So I killed these brothers, and I felt really bad about it because I'm pretty sure I failed the quest too. And then, you know, but time passed, and, and I, eventually I went about to level up, and then the Dark Brotherhood quest started. And I was like, what? And it, I didn't know. I didn't know that's, like, a thing in the Elder Scrolls. Um, and... Oh, hello. You should be in there. Or... Maybe not. Not 100% sure. Oh, maybe I am in your pasture. Apologies. There's a cave there, though. Or a mine, perhaps? Um, but yeah, I thought it was so cool. Because then I, I did the Dark Brother quest and I became like a, a a more evil character, which I I always have enjoyed in games. Oh, oh rude. What oh, type of sheep? How dare you? So I became an evil character overnight, and I really enjoyed that. Um Interesting. So if I didn't hate dungeon crawling in this game. That's strong. Um, I don't hate dungeon crawling. I just... I, I find it a little tedious because the dungeons are so big. They're enormous. Um, and often... Just let me... Okay. Yeah. So now I should be able to... Yeah. Okay, 20 gold each. Yeah, so if you have the gold to spare, this is a good way of just, like, getting around places. I have prayed at the Way Shrine of Mara. All right. Yeah, I'll do that eventually. Um, I wonder if they. I wonder if these were in the game before they did the DLC, because um, these are part of the um, Knights of the Nine DLC, which is neat. I remember liking that a lot as a kid. Um, the DLC. That's cool. So one of my favorite things about Elder Scrolls games, um, Skyrim, I think particularly has this like has a place in my heart for this specific thing, which is that, uh, it generally... Is somebody fighting me? Yep. You can always tell by the music. Um, Skyrim in particular has this down pat, which is like, you'll scan the horizon and see something interesting, and then you're like, oh, great. Time to go look at that. Life is a blessing, and death is not the end. But only when the spirit remains incorruptible. Okay. What business do you have with Meridia, Lady of Infinite Energies? The spark of life is within you, and you are welcome here at Meridia's shrine. It is possible she will speak to you under certain conditions. Oh. Leave an offering at this shrine. Meridia demands tribute in the form of the remains oh, of damn. her enemies, I don't think I have the undead. I just don't think I have any undead stuff. So that's like... Go then. I guess this might be a use for more flesh. More powerful champion. Interesting. If that's the first, like, hard lock I've seen, I mean, maybe... I wonder if it's, like, oh, if I just... If I have some, like, mort flesh or, or ectoplasm or something on her, on me, you know? I wonder if that changes it. I don't know. Um... But yes, yeah, so there's a lot of way shrines. Um, early in the game, I did a lot of. Um, I found that I was mostly sticking to the roads, uh, but that was because I was, I was just trying to do quests, and the early quests are literally like, "All right, uh, gotta go to Wayne and Prairie. Okay, gotta go to." Coral. Okay, gotta go yeah, skin ground. Okay, gotta go Kavach. Actually, I think it's just gotta go to Kavach, but the fastest way there. I mean, 
technically, I guess the fastest way there would be just like book it this way. But the problem is, Kavash, there's only one way in, so uh, you still have to go down to the road anyway. So it kind of doesn't make a difference to do this. Um, yeah, it makes sense to follow the road. But you know, like I'm doing right now, I just kind of like I like kind of wandering off a little bit. Um, you know, just, it's fun. Like I'm just gonna go off into the hills. See what happens. Yeah, I did. I will. I will admit right now, I I spent like 120 gold uh, doing all the sh the way shrines of Julianos. Just I, I actually, you know, I'll be honest with you. Um, something's something's seen me and is trying to fight me, but. Helm. But I can't see anything. Oh. It's a beer. I heard that noise and I was like, what is that? So, um, my last session, I did an Oblivion gate. And they're fine. Um, uh, you know, it's like a cool mix up, but honestly, I'm not. I'm not all that interested in doing it right now, um, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, you know, there is a potential future in which I uh, have people who watch these, and there is a chat that insists on me doing things. And in that case, like, I will gladly do something like that. But just for me right now, I'm just like, eh, I don't really care. Um, like, I found it <sighs> again. Tedious is a bit of a strong word. Is that another... Oh, no, that's more ruins than a way shrine. I've been there. I haven't done the elven shrines either. Again, I hate to be this way, because um, I know there's, like, good reason to do all those. Um, but, to be honest with you, I just often... I, I've been finding the underground dungeons to be so repetitive and tedious that I just don't do them, to be honest with you. Um, like, I, 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 after I did my first, I did, so, my first hour or two, maybe, of the game, as soon as I got out of the prison tower, and I know a lot of people do this, I went down to this, Vilverin, did that, I mean, it's a, it's, it's an extensive dungeon, um, and then I believe the next thing I did was do this one, which is not as extensive, but it's still, you know, the forts are pretty big, um, and by that point, I was like, man, this is exhausting. Because not only that, not only you finish it, but unlike in Skyrim, which is something I really approve of that they did, uh, is that all the dungeons and caves, you have to just exit by turning around and going backwards. Like, you just have to, um, when you finish, like, when you get to the end point, you, and again, like, there is a realism to that, but this is a video game. In which, like, you know, tedium becomes really obnoxious after a while. And I like Oblivion. I, I'm really I'm really enjoying Oblivion so far. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying it, you know, for what it's worth. Um, but, the, yeah, there, there are elements of tedium that just, like, ah, uh, they just, you know, they don't ring my bell in a good way. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, oh, good. Actually, this is good. Maybe you can... Ah! That's annoying. I would have loved to have... I would have loved to have taken his mord flesh. Alter. Oh. Spooky. Um, you know what? Why not? Let's just go in here. See what it is. There's another... <laughs> Another thing that I'm actually not a huge fan of, um, and this is something that I, I believe Skyrim got right, but this is me having not played Skyrim in like three years, um, trying to remember things properly. Um, I'm pretty sure... So, in this game, when you when you discover something, when you discover a location, um, sometimes you get locations on your map that they'll be like, oh, here's where this thing is, and it's, it's brown on tan here? Like here, right? Like, 
someone has some someone has pointed out that this thing exists to you, but you haven't actually visited it. But once you visit it, it goes tan on brown. However, something that I don't like, which again, in games where you just have a lot of these like uh, points of interest, right? Think of Assassin's Creed here, right? Um, I personally find it very, very helpful when there's some indication that you have been there and done. Maybe not everything, you know. I, I'm not. I'm not saying like it needs to be like, oh, you you've 100% of this location, but like cleared. Like I think I'm pretty sure Skyrim has a thing where after you go through a dungeon, it has a little like cleared thing, so you know, okay, I don't have to like revisit this. Um, that doesn't exist here. Um, it's just your memory. And again, so I just kind of remember which ones I've done. And I know for a fact that because I've only done the one um, Aeliad Ruin, I just, I, I know that's the only one I've done. But I've cleared a couple forts. Like, I've done a few of these. Um, but the problem is, is like, <laughs> there's no indication. So I'm, there will come a point when I will just forget um, which ones I've done. And again, here's the thing, it's like, and Skyrim has this problem a little bit too, it's like, oh, what? Okay, fine. I mean, so watch this. I, I, I don't think I can hit this guy. Oh, maybe not. I can't. Never mind. I was pretty sure I couldn't. See, like, this one's gonna be a little more interesting in the sense that it has, um, you know, the enemy type is kind of, is kind of neat. Um, but, like, there seems to be ne it, this place seems to be overrun by necromancers, which is cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, but okay, this is a little more unique. I know. I, I feel like I'm just complaining a lot. Um, I'm I'm really critical. Uh, not like my personal life. Not my personal life, really. Maybe. My, my partner might uh, disagree. Um, but especially, like, books and such, um, books and video games I can be really particular about. Not that I don't enjoy them. This is, this is the problem, is, like, I'll, I, the things, honestly, that I most often critique, and again, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, publishing these criticisms, you know, like, I'm not, um, I had a little, like, book review blog for a minute that I was, yeah, well, there you go. Um... Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna... I need to get lock fix. That's actually something I just completely forgot to buy. I'll come back, I promise. Um... I had, like, a little blog where I published book reviews for a minute, but, um... It... One, it wasn't particularly popular, and, and I, I just, like... It was a lot to keep up with, and I was finding that it was being particularly... Uh, the things that moved me the most in books, especially, the, the, the time... Like, I hadn't read a book in a while back then that I was, like, really excited about. Um, and so for a, long, a lot of them, I was just like, Oh, this book had a lot of potential, but I didn't really like it all that much. Or, um... Like, oh, like, I, I enjoyed this book for the oh, most part, but the ending just... kind of flopped. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Only quality goods Which... for sale here. What can I interest you in? Okay, you do have more books. That's nice. But not enough. Pleasure. Not very many of them. Uh, we'll see if the other. We'll see if the Goodbye. Smith has some lockpicks. Um. Yeah. So you know, I just kind of stopped. Um. And I like a lot. I like a lot of books. Uh. But it's like because I know how good books can be, and the same with video games. Like because I know how Hello. good an experience can be, I can. I'll often and be like, oh, I like this, but this steel. could be better. Quality. Have a look around. You won't find better prices than all Tamriel. I left that. So you don't have luck picks. That's um. That, that's. Mm, that I appreciate. Me. And you Good can't. Day. To my knowledge, there is no crafting in this game. Like, there is there is only alchemy. Which, by the way, that also reminds me. 
Okay. Oh, is that what that does? I wonder if that's what this does. Um, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. <laughs> We're just gonna combine everything. Yeah, okay, never mind. I don't think that did what I thought it was gonna do. Um, it's kind of nice. That's pretty cool. Is that Gleamer armor, I guess, in this game? It's not like Nesh Leather, because that's a Morrowind thing, which I don't think they have in this game. I think they brought it back in Skyrim. There's like a handful of Nesh armor. I, I could be totally wrong. Um, that And also, it could just be a mod. That's the problem, is I, I play with mods so much, as, as I, I have to imagine like every Skyrim player plays with mods. Um, I play with mods so much, I just genuinely forget what is uh, what is correct. Oh, you know what? You know what? There's a west... Maybe that's what... I'm remembering now, There is. there's the Canvas the Castle quest. Um, for Coral Castle. Which mentioned the west tower. And I have to wonder if... I have to wonder if this is what they're referring to. Which is... Can I just not go up that? Really? Interesting. Huh. Okay. My children are starving. Please. Oh, you got me. One more. Have a coin. Thank you. I like to think that'll eventually pay off. Have truly Not that it needs to. Because, you know, giving money to beggars isn't necessarily going to pay off <laughs> uh, in, in real life. Like, in the sense of you getting something out of it, because that's not really the point. Uh, but yeah, he mentioned um, one of the guys in that quest was like, hey, uh, there's this lady who's acting funny in this guard tower. I'm like, okay. So maybe I just missed it on him. Physics. Let me go back there. I may um, have a hello? bit of a proposition for you involving the Germain family who so recently assisted. It was kind of you to escort the Germains back to Weatherly. However, the original owner of Weatherly left them an even greater legacy. In fact, there's quite a bit more to their family history than meets the eye. Want to hear about it? Yeah, actually. Excellent. Curiosity should never be denied, is it not so? And who knows, my story may prove profitable to both of us once it has come to its end. Right. My tale actually begins with the father, Albert Germain. He was once in my employ, or should I say, the employ of my organization. He was very good at obtaining things that people did not want to part with. A professional thief, to put it bluntly. <gasps> he was assigned to obtain a very valuable item for me. He succeeded, but decided to keep this item for himself. An unfortunate decision. He fled from Coral with his family and was never heard from again. Only his small son, Reynald, was found, wandering alone in the wilderness. Naturally, my associates and I believed he had perished. The wilderness is, after all, a dangerous place. No place to take your family. Then, these many years later, voila! The brother reappears. It seems the rest of the family did not die in the wilderness after all. Indeed. What is the point of my tale? Albert Germain builds Weatherly way out in the middle of nowhere. He was a thief, not a farmer. The only reason to establish such a place would be to stay out of the Coral Guard's sight. I believe that the item Albert stole, which rightly belongs to me, was hidden at the Weatherly settlement. Unfortunately, the notorious Red Guard Valley Ogres ransacked the place and probably took all of the loot back with them. If you were to obtain this item somehow, and bring it to me. I will pay you very well for it. 
I can get you started by telling you where the ogres live. The rest is up to you. I do not care to describe it. You will know it when you see it, I think. It is not... Mm, all right. Honestly, beware. Yeah. The Red Guard Valley ogres are not known for their hospitality. I mean, fair enough. Uh, let me try this really quick and see if I get anything out of it. Otherwise, though, I will, uh... I will just... Do what that guy wants. Did I miss him? No. Have pity on an old war veteran. Yeah, so this one you just can't climb. I th oh. I saw it. Oh. Yeah, there's no one here. Okay, so that lead went nowhere. Let's go see what this guy wants. See, this is the funny thing, right? It's like, uh, uh, little details in games sometimes that, um, and you see this more in new games, N not new, but like newer games. Uh, not always. Uh, it's not always the thing. But oftentimes, you will see devs will make a point of like, it's like, okay, you, you rescued these guys and, and saved their. Um, their stuff? Where are they? They should be here. How weird. Like, I would have assumed they would be around? Maybe not? That's strange. Um, but like, yeah, you rescue those, these guys in their estate. Um, a thing that, and again, I'm saying this as I'm not a I'm not a game game dev. I'm not. I have never made a game. I have a friend who has like played around with such things, but I've never like. So I've seen like the some of the like detail work, and you know my uh, my older brother works in uh, video game art actually. But other than that, like I have no experience making video games, so. I'm just prefacing this to say, uh, I know it's difficult to do things, I know it is like time consuming and it's work, but a cute little detail that people do sometimes is that, so like, after a while, you'll walk into Weatherly and it'll be cleaned up, like there just won't be these, this corpse in the fireplace here, or all this like stuff scattered about, and then you know, over time, over time it'll be like, okay, it's cleaned up, you know? Like, oh, they've, they've actually taken, they've taken possession of the place. And that'd be really nice. Um, I'm gonna sleep here. I do this mainly because I, f I often find that... You know, and but they have little details like this, you know, there's, every so often you'll get details like, okay, it's it's light out now. Like, that's, that's, that's a nice detail. Right. Um, you may have noticed there's, like, a glow thing that houses have. That is a... And there's these guys just hanging out. Um, but yeah, I will say, Oblivion has this thing every so often that just like strikes me as odd, where it's like, you'll finish a quest and then all the context of that quest just feel abandoned at that point. So like, again, this is a great example of, you have this, um, you have this estate that these guys have that I have like helped them re recover, right? And... Um, it's like, <laughs> uh, it doesn't do anything, right? Like, nothing happens. Um, and I, I, 
I for one am one of those people who like I really love when a, a game takes the time to like show you that things change. I love that personally, and I'm not saying that every game needs to have that because I, I think that that's a big ask. But I love little details like that. I, I really adore. I, I adore when games try to do things like that to show you things have changed. Um, that there is like a little. There, there is some kind of dy dynamism to the game. And look, I mean, Oblivion definitely is going for that. Like, this is the first game where they tried to like give. It's a nice little lens flare. This is a mod. Not. This is not the base game. I'm almost certain. Um, you know, the NPCs have schedules, right? Like, that's that's something in Morrowind doesn't exist, right? When you're playing Morrowind, uh, people move around, but they're pretty much entirely static forever. Something. No. Nope. <laughs> so jarring. Okay. You learn to adapt to its weight and use it as kind of. No longer damage as swiftly. Okay. Thanks. Pick one. Like that. Cool. Let's go kill us some. I have a right to the entrance to Red Grand Valley Cave. I should proceed inside. Alright. Torch. It's gonna be a cave. Yep. <laughs> Hello. These guys are so cute. Like, I love their like tiny little heads. They're so heavy. I'm like, I'll collect a few and sell them. Yeah, I'll be honest. Um, the one game I ever really took time to learn a alchemy system was The Witcher, and even then, I wasn't like that advanced. Um. And mostly because I found that in that game, it's like, not only is it very, um, in-character to be alchemy, and I think, I mean, quite frankly, like, there are fights, even if you're playing on, like, easier settings, which I wasn't at the time, um, like, you kind of, you need alchemy to win fights, because there's just some fights that are sort of impossible, on purpose. Like, it's, it, again, it is, like, it is very much canon witcher uh, he needs alchemy. But he needs, he needs it to win fights. Um, in the, in the books, in the show, etc. So, yeah. like, I think I got through, like, Witcher. Oh, hello. I think I got through Witcher 2 without using alchemy, but Witcher 3, I absolutely used alchemy. Um, just, I just, it was necessary. Um, but this game, yeah, I just don't care. And so, honestly saying it out loud, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should just, uh, sell all my shit. Like, you know, all the alchemy stuff, just sell it. I mean, I'll keep the mortar and pestle and the other thing, like, it, it's fine. Huh. Oh, I see. Run away, love. Oh, but it's the, the door I saw under here. Yeah. Um, I hope this first person isn't too jarring to people. Um, I know some people find it very jarring, especially because, like, I mean, so uh, <laughs> I think mouse mouse sensitivity is actually really low right now. Yeah, it's quite low. Which I don't I don't even want to know because it feels quite sensitive. Um, like, it feels very responsive. Um, I don't even want to know what the higher levels of mount sensitivity feel like for this. Um, but yeah, like, my partner, for example, she does not do well with first-person shooters, so... Um, there have been times where she enjoys watching me play video games, but uh, pretty much never first-person games, because they're just like... I see what I did. Um, hmm? Let's see. <laughs> 
love, love caves. Yeah, and I guess one of the things that, like, immediately stood out to me in Skyrim is that, like, even though I didn't really have the way to articulate this at the time, because I was still younger uh, when Skyrim came out, because it was, what, like, 12 years ago? Um, it, it really hit me how... Oh, could I have just gotten in here the whole time? <laughs> um, it really hit me how... If not, well-designed might be strong. Like, you know, I, I, I'm sure there's, like game level designers out there. Again, my, my older brother has like, designed a lot of levels. Um, he... This guy's very strong. That makes sense. He's very um, whoa. That's nice. Honor Blade. Oh, that's the thing. Damn, I kind of want to... I mean, I kind of want to keep that. That's nice. Yeah, dude. Um, fuck that guy. I mean... Wait, how am I not... How am I not over... Oh, it's... No, wait. That's... Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. It's, it's double the... Oh my god. It's double the attack. Jesus. I'm like, I'm just gonna keep this shit for myself. Damn. Also, it doesn't have the uh, stolen... I guess because I didn't steal it. Um, I don't know. I mean, it is a quest. I'll do the quest. Um, but yeah, so, okay, with Skyrim, right, it's like, the first major dungeon, you kind of immediately get the sense of, even, I mean, even the pre, the prologue dungeon, which people make fun of the prologue all the time, but like, even the prologue dungeon, it felt like there was a design principle there that was really strong, even though, yeah, it's, it is literally a cavern, right, like, it is straight up a cavern, and then, like, the first major dungeon is, like, delving into a mountain, but it's... <clears throat> There's something really nice about the Draugr dungeons, I think, that kind of hit. And, like, you know, they might feel repetitive at times. Um, I definitely got a mod at some point that was, like, it, I don't know what it's called. It was, like, it basically made the Draugr, it, like, varied up the Draugr, which is kind of cool. But it led to some, like, weird stuff where, like, there was one of the enemies in that mod was a, um, like, a giant Draugr, you know, and those levels are not designed for, like, especially the, the, like, interior dungeons are just simply not designed for, like, massive creatures. Um, and also he's so strong that, I, like, I literally couldn't fight him. So, um, I remember this moment of just, like, I found a place to just, like, kind of snipe him from afar. And that's just how I did it. <laughs> like, it, it just wasn't, um... This is something I don't much care for, is that, like, things are spying, so, like, okay. And again, I mean, I know part of this is because I'm playing on a pretty easy... Is it Wayne Empire? No, it's Blackbeard. Um. Hello? <laughs> I actually wonder if they're hostile here. Because I did that quest. Something's fighting me. Yeah, I think it's still. This is sad. I didn't want to like slaughter the whole village. You know, I mean that's, that's like not what I was going for. Uh I keep this just in case. Do 
Yeah, the, the frustrating thing is I, I keep this on me even though I, I only use it under certain circumstances. <laughs> uh, I mean, then again, that's kind of the case with like these two. Um, there's a quest in Golden Danger Hearts, I'm keeping that. Oh, that's right, I never got rid of the Nern Root. Not that that's like a lot of weight, but. Oh, these are all heavy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think they see me. Yes. Hello. Who will help an old beggar? Been, How I, goes? I'll be honest, I've been giving you money this whole time, so I'm good. Hello. Hey. How are you? Well, may I interest you in some of my fine wares? Mm, no, but thank you. Um, I'm actually going to give you stuff because I need to sell you things. I'm going to do it by weight. Oof, it's nice. Like, I should just start farming ogres, my goodness. I don't know if they, uh, respawn. Yeah, I need to go to Skin Garage for this at some point. That's a f That's a good I'm keeping this because I'm pretty sure there's a quest I needed, but I'm... I'll be honest, I'm not 100% certain. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have enough torches, I guess. These are useful, but they're also heavy. Tell you. Goodbye. Um, I'm gonna return that thing to Coral because I'm kind of playing. I'm I'm playing a goody two shoes Hello. playthrough because that's just how I roll sometimes. Minutes. Um. Typically when I play a game for the first time, which, I mean, obviously, as I've said, I, I am not playing this for the first time. But typically when I play it for the first time, I will do like a, not necessarily a complete goody two-shoes, but I'll generally play a heroic character. That's not always the case. Um, you know, sometimes that changes. For example, I remember playing Fable 2 for the first time, and I had, similar to what I was describing earlier, I had like a, um, <laughs> a fall to the dark side moment. Um, which I rather actually enjoyed a lot. Um, so I ended up playing a more evil character. Investigator. I hope the investigator. Yeah, it's great. Here's um. Oh, do you not need this? Um, maybe Good I'll talk luck, to investigator. Do you? A pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Many years ago, when the count was still alive, a daring thief stole the ancient honor blade. This is incredible. I never thought to see the sword again. How did you... Never mind. <laughs> One should not look a gift horse in the mouth. May I can just tell you? Please accept my thanks on behalf of the people of Coral for restoring this sword and the honor of our city. As a token of our gratitude, I bestow upon you a no symbol of honor and heroism. This Kutchian of Coral. Thanks, man. You've done a great service to Coral, and you should be proud. I don't know what an escutcheon is, but it's a sick-ass blade. Fare thee well. Um, is that a miscellaneous item? There's no way to search, so... Aha! Wait, what is it? Oh! Ooh! Oh! Whoa, that's nice. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they're like, okay, you can either keep that sick-ass sword, which honestly would be, like, more useful for me, but it, this, then they just give me this much more valuable shield, uh, which is pretty tight. I'm a big fan. Wow. And it's, it's pretty cool looking. It's very heavy metal. Um, dig it. So that means I can get rid of this thing. Uh, unfortunately, I am... Way overweight. This isn't actually worth much, unfortunately. And there's plenty of the. Oh. 
Cool. There's plenty of cloud earlier. I always get. Oh, I still. <laughs> still overweight. Oh no. Um. I'll just eat the food I have. Garlic. That didn't quite do it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I my poison. Actually, you know, I'm, you know, I might as well use my health thing. Uh, hell, why not use the fatigue? There we go. It's really heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy. It's really heavy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not leveling up next. As if I remember how to do this. Um, yeah, I forgot. There's actually... There is a thing. I don't know if this is a mod or if it's a... Um, to be honest. I, my guess is it's a mod because I don't think they would have put this in the game. It is uh, There's a skills diary that I have. Okay, so I'll level up in a bit. I will actually level up very soon. That's cool. So, that means, so the nice thing about that is that, um, pretty much what I've been doing when I level up is that I, I level up strength and endurance. Um, and then I'll level up one of, like, speed, um, maybe agility, depends on, agility's not all that necessarily for this class, so probably speed, because it's just, it's nice to be very fast. Especially, oh my god, uh, Morrowind's very funny because it recognizes, like, the game itself is aware of how slow they make you, so speed is an incredibly important. Basically, I, I found that in that game, speed and endurance are the two that, like, <laughs> you really want to level up as fast as possible because um, endurance really increases your fatigue, and, and when you have low fatigue in that game, it's like devastating to your ability to fight um and obviously you're incredibly slow even when you're running so something you want to increase as fast as possible is speed um and there's this there's this item you get that you can get from this pretty easy quest it's just like an escort quest uh i believe they're called the boots of blinding speed and it's very very funny because um <laughs> and i would I can't believe I was taken by surprise, because I, 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 I remember, I'm sure I read about them at one point. And I've read about Morrowind's kind of sense of humor about these things. But it's this incredibly powerful item, ostensibly, that it doubles your movement speed, but it also has a blinding effect, 100%. So, it literally, like, it turns the game black, like you cannot see uh, the screen. And, um, but you can now move at double speed. Which I actually, uh, I used a little bit because I was, um, I used a little bit because what I did was I, uh, I just, 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 um, Afternoon. I will never forget. I used it a little bit because what I would do is, I, if I knew I had a straight path, or actually I, I would kind of, you can still see you your minimap. So what I would do is I would equip them and then just kind of use the minimap to try and get where I needed to go. Which worked. Um, it actually did work. So. I'm not... Take care. I'll be honest, I'm surprised how poor I still am. Um, in the sense of, like, I only have 1200 gold and there are things in this game that are like, oh yeah, uh, you know, like, for example, um, the castle here. No. Oh this Battlehorn Castle, like, it's like well over 10,000 gold to fill it out. Did you? Which I'm like, how do you even get if you're not just like stealing stuff? Um, I have no clue. But, I'm gonna go back here just do my, my little like, small splorn thing. Um, I'm actually, I'm like, do I care to go back in there? Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, salt. Honestly, I didn't mean to just kill her immediately, but here we are. 
I mean, didn't mean as a word. Uh, I'll need my torch. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna. You know, again, I'll use a shield sometimes, you know, when I find it necessary, but a lot of times I just uh, don't find it necessary, I guess. Ah. <laughs> is the best way to describe how I feel about that. Ooh, a cave. I think that's always annoying me about that, actually. Um, and I, I shouldn't say it's annoying. Uh, I mean, it is, but it it's fair, right? Is that there is a range in which enemies can exist that stop you from fast traveling or waiting or whatever. Um, but there's, but that's actually it's bigger than the range. There's not. It it is bigger than the range of. Is there more to that quest? No, oh, sure. Um, it's bigger than the range of them attacking you, right? Like of them getting hostile. Scythian snow is pretty, pretty cool. Oh, hey. Look at it trying to figure out what's happening to me. <laughs> I guess they just don't go into their own home for some reason. You have something to tell me about my father? Why would you know that? I, I'm at a loss for words. Already I've heard that the honor blade rests again in Castle Coral, and the escutcheon of coral you have is all the proof I need. My father had told us that he had hidden something away for us, something to provide for our future, but I never imagined it was this. I'm sorry you had to be tasked to right this wrong that my father was responsible for. Once again, you've stuck your neck out for us. Maybe in the past my family was notorious, but never let it be said that the current Germains don't pay their dues. I'd like you to have this keepsake. My father gave it to me when I was but a lad. I think you should have it. Thanks again, my friend. You are always welcome in our home. Thanks, dog. Probably over Honor suits you yep. well. <laughs> it's like they're constantly giving you shit. Yeah, I'm like, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this shit. I do need to go to skin grad. No. Yeah, like I have all these scrolls that I just am not gonna use. I'll sell them. I will sell them. Whatever the cheapest ones are. Let's just start there. Dirty scroll. Oh okay, yeah, that's not gonna do anything actually. Um. What is like, it's like, do I, I don't need that, I'm never gonna use that. Fine. Let me go, let me go real quick. Uh, I'll go here. I do hate that a lot of this game, so a lot of this game is just like me managing the inventory, to be honest with you. Um, that changes over time I think like I found that especially with the more strength I have you know enemies oh my god there's mythic dawn everywhere and just randomly attacking yep there you go cool yeah let's do that first let's do let's just do first. it has no Welcome to the oak. There's one of the good day. I've noticed, I don't know if it's a bug or whatever, but there is a thing that happens where, uh, just, I don't know if it's, it, sometimes I will just hit my all caps button and it just goofs. Um, it makes me walk, but 
sometimes I think it just happens. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, I've been focusing on these three. Just makes the most sense. Yeah, fatigue is useful. Carry weight is incredibly useful. <laughs> Sell all my shit to well uh, met. this lady. How do you do? A pleasure. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. I feed the potions, but I'll just sell the alchemy shit. That's a. This takes forever. <laughs> Don't get rid of the neuron root. You, you got a great deal. That seems a fair price. <laughs> it's like, you know. I could just use them, but uh, good. why? Uh, when fine. I'm not, I'm just not gonna. Not their fault. That's I like to imagine there's people who play that like scene. they do like scroll builds, you know. But what do I know? I do learn. Anytime I get a tome, like a spell tome, I will, uh, I will try to use that. Yeah. Um. These are cool, but I just like I don't think I'm ever gonna use any of this shit. I'm I'm pretty certain I'm just gonna beat the whole game without touching any of it. You got it. Uh, I will keep the Barla stones because I I read that they're like incredibly valuable. <laughs> I mean, even like just look at the the description. Or actually, they don't tell you the description. That's Thank annoying. You. I wonder if you learn. Be there must be some way to learn what they do in game. Um, but let me go to this guy before I get too far. So, um, just so, something something about me. Um, Hello there. Hey, I work from home, um, and I set my own hours, which is really great. Um, I can work. Um, other than that, there's an occasional like there's meetings that I have to be at, um, and there's, you know, there's like certain times of the year where there are certain events I have to be at, but otherwise, like I get to set my own hours, which is awesome. Meaning, <laughs> um, you know, there's certain due dates, right? But like. Uh, other than that, like, I am free to do kind of whatever I want, whatever, which is fantastic for this, um, because I'm trying to do this, like, while my partner's at work, um, because you can't really see this, but we don't have, I don't have an extra room to do this in right now, uh, we live in Vermont, which is having, I, I mean, housing crisis is, is a word for it, but, um, basically, there's very, 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 very few apartments available and very few homes available and Welcome back. a lot of them are incredibly expensive um so when we moved up here and we probably we I mean in a in a housing market of like five years ago we could have easily afforded a, a bigger place um with like extra rooms but when we got here the literally the only apartment available was our one bedroom apartment that we have currently um now vermont's a little different because it has um there's a little more word of mouth to it than um, your average place. Like we, so we moved up here from Miami, and Miami is very, you know, everything's listed online. Like it's, it's very expensive, but you know, everything's there. You can you could find what you need. Whereas here, it, like, I, there may have been apartments that were available if if we had been up here to ask, 
or called her own. But as far as apartments.com, there's literally one apartment and this was it. <laughs> um, so one of the nice things about being home alone, um, you know, my cats are here, but so I am literally, my desk is off of our kitchen, which you probably see our stuff behind me. Um, it's off of our kitchen and so it's better for me to do this uh, just when she is at work um, and you know there's like basically just no there's nothing happening off to the side uh, so it's a little that's why I like to do this at this hour but I'm gonna try and uh, like I said this is a test stream I'm actually gonna get off in a few minutes I'm, I think I'm gonna cap it at two hours for right now um, it looks like it might have stopped I'm actually not sure The counter is not going any higher. That's weird. But yeah, like I said, this is like a test stream. I'm just trying to like kind of feel things out. Yeah, maybe Twitch just got confused. Oh, well, I'm still going. Um. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's a test stream. I'm gonna leave it up. I'm gonna try and leave it up. Um, I did a test stream the other day, but it didn't really work out. Um, in order to stay up. It did cut a clip. I'm not actually sure how I did that, to be honest with you guys. Um, but I'm still figuring things out, still working things out, just like trying to figure out how this is going to look. I, I like doing it. It's fun. It's fun to just talk. <laughs> but I'm going to do a few more minutes of this and then... How goes the search? It's great. Fantastic. You actually found ten of the Nern root. According to my research from the tome, I'll need at least <laughs> 20 more Nernroot to make the next magnitude of elixir. In any case, if you come back in about 24 hours, I should have the weaker elixir ready for you. Yeah, Twitch on my phone just, um, that's fun. I like that he goes off and starts working on it. Um, Twitch on my phone just, uh, stopped for a minute but it's reset and it's still working so it's still streaming just wanted to check hey what's up any more luck nope here's a weak elixir of exploration not bad eh if you want more you can buy them from me i've discounted them for you of course I'm any more actually. i wonder i have potions and everything you need to make your own what will it be That's nice, actually. I mean, 300 seconds, that's that's actually pretty cool. They're pretty cheap. That's useful. Um, Remember, I ran out of torches in a dungeon at one point, and I got just very confused. <laughs> and I, I used up my one... I had a potion of Night Eye that only worked for 30 seconds, and it, it did not... I did not... did not help me. Uh, which is uh, frustrating. more more 20 more samples luckily though that's the nice thing is that pretty much any body of water you find like you'll generally find their group oh interesting they gave me a thing what am i level four is that it yeah <laughs> that's fun I'm not a I'm not as big a fan of this leveling system as maybe Skyrim's because um, it requires you to stick to your class, which you know I get. Um, but for a game that's all about this kind of like insane amount of freedom, right? Uh, also, it's like I love that these. Uh, my guess is these all scale up the same way, but you know you can imagine this one's a lot harder to level up because how often do you use this, right? You don't. You can you you need hammers. At least as far as I can tell, you need repair hammers to do this. Uh, whereas you know, like athletics and acrobatics, for example, blade. Like I'm using them constantly. Yeah, maybe at some point I might switch to switch to a blunt weapon or something. Who knows? It's just a level up. 
Um, but that's what I'm saying is like you have to, um, from what I've seen, you have to level up these skills to level up, uh, to like do an actual level up. Um, whereas in like Skyrim, you know, it's like any skill you level up will be part of your leveling. It must, it must be the app, like, because I keep noticing that it's like, yeah, because I'm currently fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I see that it's still alive. It's gonna hurt. But, much like Skyrim, I, I keep that, keep that health restore spell on me. Um, alright. Um, there weren't any viewers for the stream live, which is fine. Um, like I said, it's a test stream. Uh, I'm gonna keep it up for now. There's a solid chance it might go down at some point. Like, I might just take it off when I'm getting a little more... You know, once the videos are a little higher quality, once I got things kind of settled. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna take it a day by day. Try to do this every few days, just see how it goes. Um... If you do end up watching this, I hope you enjoy it a little bit. I'm, you know, excited to get going on this. It's I have no ambitions for this. I don't really, you know, I don't see myself becoming some, like, mega streamer. I know there's a lot of people who, like, uh, you know, there are things that I do think feel that way about, like, with writing, you know, I, I would love to become a professional author one day. Like, I, you know, by professional, I just mean some nerd or curious. Yeah. You know, like, I want to get published, I want to, I would like to write a book, write a novel, that kind of thing, get that published. Um, oh, I actually, no, I have, dis I have discovered this place, whatever it is. Or maybe I have it. Stormway, that's kind of cool. I hate the whimper. I just, I, I hate the whimper. It's so depressing. <laughs> it makes me very sad. Storm. Hello. Oh. This might be like a mod area or something, because there's, there's no voice acting, at least for her. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, my crops flesh, fresh. Oops. Thank you, saving nearly every Drake. Trip smiles at us. Windfall brought us to Stormwick and the early retirement and comfort. Maybe it's a bit large, but we had big plans for this land. My Tessa. Oh, what's that? So turn. Plan to retire from Legion. Dream of the living our days, so it's children. You guys care a little bit of simple folk, as you might. Uh, we've not been blessed with a single little one. I'm sorry for your misfortune. Oh, thank you. Adopt some children. Yes, true. Oh, cool. Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't need a reward, dog. The reward is a happy family. I, I, I don't know if that's a, um, I have noticed that, st that there are some things that I'm pretty certain are, like, actual DLC content that don't have voice acting, <laughs> or either the voice acting's not loading, I'm not 100% sure, um, because his voice, his mouth's moving, but, you know, that could just be, like, a, a in-game program type deal, I am not 100% certain. There's weird things like that in Oblivion, um, on occasion, and that I, again, I, I genuinely cannot tell if it's uh, a, a bug, or a mod, or what. It's hard to tell sometimes. That's okay. It's a bit janky, but that's kind of the fun. It's part of the fun. Yay, thank you. Alright. Um, I'm gonna log off. It's been fun. It's a nice view. Gonna save, exit, and then I will head out. 
I'm not Canadian. Head out. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, hope you enjoy it if you get to watch it. See you later.